so excited. I know. Remember to watch it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Game Club Side Quest month, month, February 2016 meeting. I am Console Kevin, and I'm hungry. With me, we have the president of the Game Clubs. Hi, Mike. President now. Hello. Hello, yeah, Mike. I finally had to make it because I'm normally uh, working on Saturdays, but hello, and we are in our unofficial official cave. This is our official cave. I don't know what you're talking about. Sweet. Yes. We so, also have, let's see you run down the line. We have Mikey joining us. Hi, Mikey. How are you today? Good. There he is. Mark. Mark's here. Mark's here every month. Hello, Mark. We have Jorge. Mr. <laughs> Who hasn't made a video in forever, and I'm sad about it. What's going on, dudes? I'll be back. And we have, we have C-Stove. Hi, Corey. Hello. So we got a big meeting here today, so we're going to try to calm it down and not all talk over each other. So we'll start off the meeting with Corey, and we'll have him say a little piece about Bioshock Infinite. So, Corey, if you would, please. I was not wanting to start, but... <laughs> oh, huh. Okay, uh, I'm not, not going to lie. I did not replay this game again, but I have beaten it. <laughs> Let's start off with that. But uh, this game has the best story, I think. If you go back and like actually see what what all went on while you were playing that you didn't understand, it's like the most complex story I've ever seen in a game. And uh, it's like mind blowing. So that's that's all I want to say. I love it. What's up? It's your turn. Today, your little. Oh, okay. Thinking. Yeah, man. I just uh, this is kind of what I wish every shooter would be, you know what I mean? It's got a great story, uh, the weapons and stuff that, that uh, well, uh, you know what I meant by shooter, Kevin, don't look at me like that. FPS. I'm not listening, I didn't say anything. <laughs> um, but, you know, just the, all the weapons that you can use in different elements, you're not just using guns or whatever, and they do a really good job. I mean, one of my favorite things to do was to use the crows, you know, I mean... Or, or uh, your electric, your electric weapon or whatever that you get eventually. I mean, it takes forever to get it, but once you get it, it's so badass. So um, I just think that it all comes together really well. I mean, everything from the story to freaking blowing people up. So bad, but yeah. So I really enjoyed playing it, man. It was uh, finally though I hadn't beaten it. I'd seen my brother beat it. Uh, finally got to it. So. That's it. My dogs are setting off three different cameras right now. <laughs> yeah, good. You've got to be playing. Mark, how did you enjoy your time with Bioshock? Oh, it was really fun. Um, it seemed like kind of like the same experience I had with um, uh, the Alan Wake, how we basically had to finish the DLC to understand the whole story. Because once I the main game, I was still like slightly confused on what was going on. So I had a complete set, so I ended up beating uh, the last two uh, uh, as well. And it kind of made, it made more sense. I really, you have to play the DLC to get anything? Hey, Mark. Mark, do me a favor. Huh? I'm going to link you a link that tells the stuff you probably didn't notice, and I want you to go read it. So, so, can, I got, so can I ask a question here for you guys, maybe who understood the story a little bit better at first? Um, or, yeah. or the DLC, actually. Is the DLC what, what ties it to the original Bioshock, or... Or does the actual... Because I hadn't played the original Bioshock. This is the only Bioshock I've played. Yeah. It's tied into, like, the original universe more so than, like, the story of the original Bioshock. Oh, okay, okay. But, like, right. it kind of makes it all a cohesive world where it's just sort of, like, nods to it. Like, yeah, you're it. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because I didn't, I didn't read into all I kind of got the gist from yeah. right when I, at the end of the game when it's just like, but you're in Rapture, and I was like, oh. Well, when I, when, I beat, right. when I beat the game the first time, I had to do, like, a Google search for, ex, you know, explained endings on it and everything, and, you know, as Corey was saying a second ago, it really begs to play the game a second time because you pick up on so many things that you were like, oh, wow, I had no idea that this was the case. Okay, cool. Mark, you have anything else? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that you yeah, had to basically play the DLC to understand how it ties in with the original game. That's fair enough. The original game is a What's up, Corey? What's your the original game is amazing, so you should go play it. Oh, hold on, there was some mech oh. there. All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. What were you asking, Corey? I just said Bioshock 1 and 2, they're really good, so you should go play them. I think I got them on PC, so I'll, I'll probably uh, knock them out. 
sometime, hopefully. Kevin, I hear you. Hold on. Turn this off. Call my mic. Was never on. I was just on your. I was just on yes, your. that's why. All right. All right. It's gonna make it back. Okay. Kevin's then. So, I was it like There we go. The echo's gone now. As is Kevin's voice. Kevin, you're not even on. Okay, because I could hear you in the next room. Um, the game didn't make sense until the end. That's pretty much how I felt. I was walking through it, and I didn't understand everything. I didn't understand the twins. I didn't understand what the purpose of the songbird is. I don't think anyone will. You know, and then when I caught, I caught was it her pinky? It, it, it all made sense how it was all different at the same time, and it it was very weird. But I understand why it was such a good game. Do you understand all that stuff now? Yes, I, you understand it right at the end when they start going from tower to tower to tower. It's like, and you see other bookers walk in, and it just makes sense. Yeah, it's like whatever choice you make, like creates another dimension, and just keeps branching. Yeah, because cool. with all the um, what was her name? The the girl, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah, when you see all the different Elizabeths at the very end, it's like, well, okay, now this one's part of this faction. This one's in this faction. This is a regular girl, regular Elizabeth. It, it it makes sense. Yeah. You know, but at the end, you know, as, as I sat there and after I finished the game, I just kind of watched the credits roll like I usually do. And you hear a little bit of dialogue, and he says something like, he says something, and then his daughter's name, which is Anna, right? And then yeah. that's where I was like, oh, shit, maybe that's the the real ending to the game. You know what I mean? Where he, because I guess what what he does is he kills a, his evil clone off, or his evil self off, right? That's essentially what he's trying to do the entire time, right, Booker? Yeah, he killed himself at the point where he turns into Comstock. Right, yeah, where he turns into the bad guy, so... But at the end, you hear that little bit of dialogue, and that's what confused me. So that's why I went out and, and looked up the story or whatever. Yeah, so Comstock and Elizabeth don't exist now, so it's just regular Anna. With, and him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's cool. That's Man, that story's just freaking, I don't know, it's badass. Yeah, it is. A lot of shooters especially don't get that deep with story. No, hell no. That's what I, that's why I was saying, man. I wish, like, I wish you, you got that entire package. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Kevin's so muted. Is Kevin Kevin's flexing for us or what? I don't know what's going on with him. He's pointing He's at him and I'm flexing. <laughs> <laughs> Say something, you spoon. We can't hear you, Kevin. Just to let you know that. Oh, Kevin. All right, moving on. <laughs> Mike, you're, you're not on. Okay. <laughs> so is he not gonna? What, what's going on? He seems okay with this. Yeah. You see. <laughs> Let Paul just look at his little head bob, in and out of the screen <laughs> on the little square there. <laughs> Seriously, what's up, Kevin? Okay, I have a question for everyone. Yeah, go for it, man. Shoot. Um, the people I can't hear just nod your head, yes or no. Uh, <laughs> is it worth it to go play the DLC? I think so. I would have to buy the game over again because that's cheaper getting that edition of the game than buying the DLC up from the store. Uh, so what is it, the game of the year edition or whatever? <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. It's only like 15 and then the DLC is like 15 each on PSN, so... But Great. that's just digital, or, or is it still cheap enough to get it physical with a, with a DLC? It's like 15 to get it physical with a DLC, and then Brand new? if you want to just yeah, if you want to just buy the DLC, it's like 15 each. Oh yeah, I'll just that's what I'll have to do then. I'll have to have another copy of it. Kevin looks I... frustrated, so I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Kevin, we can't hear you, bro. <laughs> We, you, you're not on. Like we can't hear you, or Mike. You know. Mm. 
<laughs> I had no idea what... They're going to start talking in sign language. <laughs> Point, okay. Yeah, he's probably chewing me out or something, but I can't... funny. <laughs> Maybe the sandwich just uh, hit him the wrong way. Let's see. Okay. Are they arguing? Are they about to hug? I don't know. This is... <laughs> I'm about to just bring my phone over there. I feel like I'm trying to interpret no, no, they just bonded. or something. They just bonded. Is he going to propose? He's off screen. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I see him. Now they're having coffee time. Kevin, I'm literally about to start playing Clash of Clans if you don't get back on board here, buddy. <laughs> I got this. Yeah, take your phone over there. It's more reliable than their technology. <laughs> so no one answered. Is the DLC worth it? it yeah, Mark answered. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get like across the board. Like, you guys see oh, I haven't played it. it. I was on the same boat as you were. So. Oh, okay. Just mute yourself. Meet the audio. And since I hadn't played... Um, since I hadn't played... Any of the other Bioshocks, I just wasn't sure what tied what into the story. I mean, you know, I just, wasn't just, just know that when you play Bioshock One and Two, that it's gonna be way different. Like, don't expect. Hey, right, right. What the fuck? You're not even on here. <laughs> oh it's my god! That's what I'm telling you. Should just start this whole thing over at some point. We don't need to start over. This is fun. You can just cut it. Don't you edit this stuff, anyways, Kevin? Oh, oh, go, go, the fuck that way. Way. go the fuck that way. No, I have an idea. I have an idea. Whenever I ask a question or someone else no, does, he can put subtitles on it when he's talking. Phone. <laughs> no, it's still, it's still on. <laughs> what the heck's going on? I'm like, what? 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 Can you hear me now? Kind of. Oh, wait. Say something, Kevin. Hold on. Say something. Yeah, we, I can kind of hear nope. you, but I don't we know. We hear you through. I'm going to sit next oh, to their microphone. Ah. Uh, I don't understand what happened. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I was just telling you, you don't. You can just set your boss and. Hold on. Whatever. Just start sending the smoke signals, bro. Yeah. Can you write it and, like, just put a piece of paper up? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> No, we can't hear you. I'm a You don't want to listen? No. Nope, that was straight muted. Good is thing there a mute button on that snowball? Ford, I saw your Please mouth too. There isn't a mute button on that snowball, and he hasn't. <laughs> oh, man. Say it again. Oh my fucking god. How about now? I hear you. I hear you, yes. Dude. Was the snowball muted? I don't fucking mind this decided to fuck itself, so I don't know. Oh, now we got this. Does this work? Yeah, it works. Alright. Alright. Back on fucking track. Mike, talk about your introduction part of Bioshock. I don't really want to now. I'm and, just Alright, so Bioshock's a great game. Um so that's about it. No. <laughs> I, I love Bioshock. I love the series and like everything they said. You know, it's it's so worth playing it several times because when you start it over, you pick up on so many things. I think as Corey was saying, like at the start of it, when you kind of see um the two twins when they're dropping you off and they're just kind of already talking with one another, like oh, why doesn't he row? And he's like, no, he doesn't row. And like, well, what do you mean he doesn't? It's like, oh, he doesn't row. And like, if you think about that, it's because they've done it so many times in the past. They've been over that scenario. Like thousands of times, and no matter what, like he doesn't row the boats. And the coin flipping. Yeah, exactly. It's always heads like a hundred times. Yeah. And then he turns around, and on his back, it's like even more times when it's always been heads or whatever side it always goes to. Um, they're like kind of they give you this perception like your choices matter a lot more than they do though, which kind of stinks. Um, the biggest one I think is when you. Just from an aesthetic standpoint, they you have the option to trust the guy at the booth and insist on a ticket, or you could pull a gun on him. 
And if you pull a gun on them, then you don't get stabbed in the hand. And if you don't, then you get stabbed in the hand and you have a bandage wrapped around your hand. I thought the, the only game. option was to stab, was to shoot him. No, you can not shoot him, and then you'll get stabbed in the hand, and then you have a bandage for the rest of the game. But other than that, and then you can pick like a different brooch or whatever for Elizabeth. But it, it seems like it would have an impact on something, but it, it really doesn't like matter at all. Which is I sad. honestly, I don't think the game is about choice. I kind what? of like that though, because if you think about it, we are him, so. Every time he goes, he thinks it's his first time. Right. You know I mean? So, like, if we're thinking it's our first time and we choose something, it doesn't matter because it's just a loop anyways. Right. So I mean, our choices, you know, they're just got the same outcome. It's an awesome, awesome story. It's so well layered, and the DLC does really add a lot. Like, I really love the DLC. It's, it ties, like, the whole universe together, and it's, like, a great way of like, making a different game without making, like, the same game. Um, the, the combat is fantastic. I played it the first time when it came out in 360, and not to be like a PC master race, Kevin always... But it was on sale, like right when you guys picked it for the game of the month, there was a combo pack for Bioshocks 1, 2, and 3 on sale on Steam for $10, so mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, why not? And oh my god, does that game look really good on a good PC. No, it, it actually looks like, like pretty good. Running on yeah. Ultra, it looks... Phenomenal. I saw a gorgeous. I can't remember who I saw play, but that opening scene with the rain and the water crashing oh on PC. Even, God, on, even so on PS3, it looked No, good. no, it looks great on PS3 and Xbox, but I was really having a great time playing it. Like, I mean, I did a couple um, streams of it and put a few stuff up on, on YouTube. And, I mean, it, it was an awesome second playthrough. I didn't finish it the second time around, which I still I still want to. I got really far, though. Uh, but I did love that game. The soundtrack is fantastic. One of the most atmospheric games I think I've played in a very long time. You know, it really kind of drags you into like their world and uh, you know all the all the everything's. All the everything. So better than Bioshock One to you? Um, to me, two different experiences. So you know, like, that's a hard question. I think Bioshock One would still be my favorite, but that is for different reasons. They're almost like different games to me. Mm -hmm. um, they very. They have like a very different attitude to them. I would think Bioshock One was still my favorite, but, but Infinite is really Infinite is definitely more of a polished game. Like it's more fun to play. Like the combat is a lot more rewarding than Bioshock One. Um, but do you remember when it came out? A lot of people were mad that it wasn't that dark. You know, kind of. The yeah, trailers were super I, different than when the game came out. I remember everyone like freaking out about I it. I love that it was bright. I mean, I almost like that it's almost oversaturated. It looks like a Disney like, cartoon, but, but like really racist. Well, because yeah. for, well, that's <laughs> like, cause, like the, game, the visuals like counter the um, the story like, and, and like the hatefulness of the of the people that live there. Because like everybody that lives there is like. Such a, it almost looks like a happy place, but it definitely isn't. Yeah. Right, exactly. Like they all have these twisted mindsets and these like awful. I think that's the metaphor ideology. But the, the right. environment of it is beautiful, so... No, yeah. I agree, yeah. The environment for the whole... I think the whole motif of the game is, like, on the surface, everything may look pretty and wonderful, but you never know, like, people's darker issues. I think that's the whole, like, point yeah. of what the game is trying to get. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Also, when it's like... Time travel and paradoxness, anytime a TV show, a movie, or a game does that, I'm just like... It, I'm lost. It does. That answers our question, though. I guess I'll definitely have to play the DLC, and I'll just replay it on PC, then. I kind of want to try the DLC, but I don't want to pay 15 bucks for it. Is my issue. That's well, my. Well, see, I I don't play on 360, and I that's what I played this on because that's what we had it on. So <laughs> I didn't want to buy it on PS3, so now I'll just buy it on PS3 with the DLC. But well, Mark played the DLC, right? Yeah. But could you go over like the story of the DLC in general? Without spoiling. Yeah, yeah, no spoilers. Try to like do like what does it explain? I want to check it out. The main game. Um, it, well, it basically just ties in how the first, how it goes into the first game. Uh, Burial C1 basically continues Bioshock Infinite, and then play the original Bioshock, and then after you play that, then play Burial C number two. That's how it is, like, timeline-based. Okay. Does it explain Elizabeth anymore? Because, like, I get her purpose, but... I'm, like, I, I, can, like I can explain her purpose for you if you want. Please. Information. Comstock needs an heir to the throne, but he is he can't have kids. So he jumps into a different dimension, goes to Booker's house, and Booker owes him money for whatever reason. And so he basically sells Anna to Comstock for his debts or whatever. 
And so, since he's she's technically related to Comstock, she can be an heir to his whatever his throne or whatever. But she's related mm. to Comstock, who is Booker. Yeah. Yeah, it's his daughter. That's is. where that paradox thing like loses me on white. Yeah. So Elizabeth is Anna, but as, as raised by Comstock. <laughs> different dimensions, they have different names. Yeah. Just their counterparts, yeah. Because maybe Comstock didn't know her name. I don't know. Uh, it kind of makes sense. It's just like, it, any time time travel and paradox and universes get involved, we're just like, okay, hold on, let me get this down for like one second. But I was more like, you drop in like the gameplay of more than anything. The tears were the best, man. You just ran out of ammo or something and got you out of binds. You know? I mean, shoot. Yeah. It's like, there's a rift in the world. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> what did you guys, in the gameplay, what did you think of the, uh, not the grapple, what is it called, like the skyline? Skyhook? Um, under yeah, so badass. Yeah, it was I mean, good. It was cool. Underutilized though. Like I, when I used it, I was just like, I want more of this, and then it did nothing. I mean, you really can string together some awesome combos. Yeah. That make you feel like you're way better. But there were the just so many, are. so little fixed areas where you but, could use it. I don't know. You could get around. I mean, it's pretty good usage of it, I think, because I love like going from zip line to like zip line, and then you like you know sky attack somebody and get a headshot on somebody, and then jump back on the skyline. And, I think I, I wasted a lot of time just running around using that and the crows. Like, literally, just <laughs> running around using it pointlessly. Yeah. Man, these are awesome. When I, the first time I got to, like, split somebody's head with the thing. Oh, that was so good. I made my wife play the first, like, I don't know, hour of the game because I always try to force her to play games. It's not going to work. She yeah. was actually kind of into it until she, like, ripped somebody's head off with the skyline thing. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my oh, fiance beat it. Yeah. She it reminds it. me of in, in, uh, Wilson said you order, but you split that lady's jaw open. Oh, yeah. It's just as graphic as that. It's pretty sweet. She's like, wait, why did this game just go from me at a carnival to me throwing a baseball in an iteration couple? Video games. <laughs> Corey, you should have had her. Come on, man. She beat it. Yeah, I know. I should have. I didn't even think about it. I forgot she played it until he mentioned his. We, we would have had a million wife. views, man, by now. I mean, yeah, shit. I know. <laughs> My, <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> In Bioshock One, you know when you had to either use a plasmid or your gun. Yeah. I hate that, and I'm actually happy that in Bioshock Two, everyone got mad at that. That you was like one hand was a plasma, one was a gun. I thought that was like way better for some reason. I know, freeze and shoot. It's like it's cool. Yeah, I was like, the, I, the thing is, I only ended up using like one or two plasmids. I would end up like electric gun. Like that would be my whole. And thing. the big daddy drill, like that was amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. I would have, I would I have like, to say that the like like the most available weapon, which is the air shotgun, that's one of the I coolest mean, like cool. weapons that that you can get in the game. You know what I mean? That you could always have available or whatever. I mean, shoot, it's like it never really ran out. Yeah. Yeah, it's badass. I, love it. I wish there was more RPG elements that there were from the first Bioshock. I think that was another complaint from two, or from one two, and I thought in Infinite they were gonna come back. Two got a lot of hate, and I actually really liked it. So. I loved two. I thought that multiplayer was awesome. RPG elements in what way? Could you level up weapons or level up yourself yeah, or what? Bioshock. It wasn't like a full RPG. Was there a skill tree? Yeah, there was a yeah, there was, was like a semi skill tree, but like oh okay. Two and Infinite were just like how about. I kind of wish they brought that back. There's certain elements of RPGs that I like, but straight up RPGs I just can't do all that well. Unless it's Perker Mine. Perker Mine. Perker Mine. Oh, I thought the game was great. Like That last boss or stage, whatever it was, pissed me off, though. I don't even remember. Really We're around the ship in the sky, it's like a stormy night. Oh, yeah. I died. <laughs> So many Let, fucking times. You know, you know what? Let, let's talk about that, Kevin. Let, who? What was the most difficult? I guess you don't really call them boss battles, but like area. I guess for me, it was a siren in the graveyard. Yeah, that's that also you know, that, that was. Awful. I mean, for me, that was tough, man. I, I that's probably where I died the most. I don't think I've had a difficult boss fight since well, actually, Persona Four now. But Bioshock Infinite, like that, that took me at least like a day and a half to get right, even on normal. What about the dude that just, like, the big robot guy that just jumps around like, on top of the building? Well, I think I had trouble with him because I was trying to get a trophy. I had to, like, kill him. <laughs> oh, the melee or with a pistol or something? Yeah, yeah. So I ended up, like, getting him stuck in a corner, like, and then just shooting him like that. So it, that was why it was tough for me, I remember. <laughs> Mark, what was your hardest part? I was, all three sirens, they were annoying. Yeah. And uh, the very end was very hard, too. The what work? That was pretty much smooth sailing. It wasn't that hard. I tried 1999 for, like, 
I don't know what, like the first two hours, and I was like, no. <laughs> 1999 just wrecked me. Did you guys see a new System Shocks coming out? No. Yep. Yeah. That was one of my recommendations for a game of the month, but it's just System Shock 2, because I've never finished it, but I've started it over like four or five times. I've never even played them before, but I just knew that that's where the 1999 mode Yeah, well, that's a little Bioshock series, you know, kind of Yeah. Um, but um, it's a great game from what I understand, but it's it's tough. It's like a straight-up 90s, like, Davis X kind of yeah. small game. And it's fun, but it doesn't, it doesn't like, move as well as... And the story doesn't progress as well as newer games do. Like, there's a lot of real stale time. Like, well, it's very old PC. Yeah, you go, like, an hour and a half with doing, like, almost nothing. Um, but it's a great game. Well, there's a new one coming. I, I, I liked Bioshock Confident, but... I think I probably rank one above it still. Damn, I have to play them now. Son of a buck. Yep. I see the thing is you're missing out on all the connections because there are a lot of references to Bioshock One because it's technically. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Yeah, it's technically a prequel without, like, you can play directly it. being one. Right? Well, if you think about it, you got to Rapture through a tear, right? So. Yeah. Rapture, Rapture is just another dimension. So, I don't know if it'd be. A, might be even going alongside the same time, you know what I mean? Right. Unless Ra- was Rapture run down in Infinite? I can't remember. No, it was, it was uh, I think it was Immaculate. Right, it was in its, well, during the first burial, let's see, it's like in its prime, so it's um, like how it is before you see it in Bioshock 1. The okay. Bioshock 1 is all pretty run down, and then in, in burial, let's see, when it starts off, it's like there's parties going on and people aren't all deformed yet. And, okay. So let me ask you this, gameplay-wise, is it like a smooth, is this one? Because when I started this one, I think I beat it in like three days. I mean, am I going to get into those games the same way? Uh, like, the one was a little longer. It's, it's oh, it little, is? I don't know length of time, but it's a little sluggish. Um, okay. That's probably, do you know the ending of one yet? Is anyone written that for you? I don't know it. Um, do it, don't. it I'd right. yeah, the... probably, yeah, I'd rather not know it. Well, I'm not going to tell you, it, it's just one of the best, like, twists. Oh, then, okay. I lo- yeah, I love Twist, so cool. I've looked at a lot of like top 100 lists, and Bioshock is always on it, like yep. the first Bioshock. It's somewhere mm-hmm. on it, like top 10. I, I really, honestly, man, I'm so sad that I waited this long to play this damn game. I Like I said, I see my brother play through it, but just Mark, had gotten to it. Something. I see him. What's that? He like, opened his mouth and closed it. I think somebody... Mark, go ahead, I saw it. Hey, what? I thought you were going to say something. Sorry. All right, I'm a jerk. <laughs> Maybe it was yawning. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I bored you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We, got, we want to close up Bioshock. Anyone got last words to say, Corey? We'll run down the line. Um, I love it, and now I'm going to go check out the DLC soon, probably. And nice. that's about it. All right. Um, yeah, it's, no, 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 I, like I said, I, I waited too long to play it, and now I'll play all three of them on PC. Was that like a fight me thing or something? I don't care what you play it on. <laughs> Mark? Yeah, I thought it was a good story. I liked how when you played the DLC, how it tied into the first one, because after you beat the original game, it doesn't really tie in as much until like the, the end, and then you're like, okay, well, what happens now? And then you have to play the DLC to figure out, oh, okay, this is what happened next. Right. Yeah, I the story. Mikey? I think it's a good game. It just didn't make sense till the end. That's true. Michael, I like it a lot. I like it all. <laughs> uh, I, I played again, but I want to do it on 1999. I gotta not give up this time. But I realize I only have a month, so Screw that. I, I cranked it down, and I'm a casual, and I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are playing, what is it, March now? March. Yeah. We're playing Heavy Rain this month, and I think that was Jorge's pick, which uh, I think you won twice, so good job, Jorge. Proud of you. Thank lucky you. I try. I try. I try. I'm very good at being lucky, I guess. Yeah. I'm uh, waiting for mine to come in the mail. Yeah, I wanted the PS3 one, or the PS4 one, but like, I don't, I guess I could import one. This one will be really interesting. I'm excited to see kind of like jerk. what everyone's, and because there's a lot of endings, but a lot of them are pretty similar. But you can really kind of get a lot of different outcomes in the Has game. Has everyone so. played Heavy Rain before? No. No, I played the first like hour maybe. Like I remember the kid and the clown and all that. But 
I haven't, but I'm freaking excited to play this one just as much as I was to play Bioshock. There, uh, there's, I have one giant plot in this game, but I'll, I'll save it till next month, I guess. All right, it's not. Well, it's more of like an interactive experience. It's definitely not like no, a it's, video it's game. A, it's a story thing. Oh, it's not about yeah. the gameplay, okay. which I have things to say about the game. Not, not I'm, the actually, I'm actually excited about that part that it's an interactive game. It is. Um, I'm, I'm feeling kind of lazy this month. <laughs> I think you until dawn do heavy rain too, or is it? No, no, it's a totally different game. But until dawn is amazing. I'm playing that right now. For the first time. That. And that game so is good. awesome. Yeah. All right. So I guess we'll see you guys next month for yeah, I can make it. heavy uh, rain. Yeah. Good job. Planning master over here. Yeah, man. The more the merrier. Everybody, let's all show up next month. Yeah, that'll be fun. Maybe next month we'll we'll be better planned, and I have tech issues in Echo and. Making well, you got here like two minutes before we. Uh, I know. I get the game beaten because I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> March 11th is what it says. So. Oh, wow. Corey, I, I think once you get it, you're going to run through it pretty quick, Corey. I hope so. It's coming from Australia, so. It's not very long. It's not very long. It can be. I don't remember how long it was. It's not something that I love to binge play, though. No. It's kind of hard to sit down and just play like five hours of it. It's definitely like. Challenge you the first time. <laughs> Oh, you can do it. I just think it's it's more enjoyable like an hour or two at a time. You know, if you cool. sit and watch, you gotta play it like the length of time you watch a movie and then the longer. Cool. So, take that as you wish. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye.